Hello, this is Trinon, and this is Let's Play Torchlight Part 5, or rather, the second half of Part 4. Take it for what you will. Oh, hello. Where we last left off, there was quest completion, there was clearing of the Asterian ruins, but not all of it, so the next part of this play will be finishing the Asterian ruins. Again, my main strategy is to kill enemies from afar while my minions do most of the damage from a front, taking most of the damage while they're at it. I've noticed, though, that my minions tend to die a lot more as I go deeper and deeper, making me wonder how sustainable they will be as the time goes on with the game. We'll see. Anyways, the Asterian Ruins have three glyphs, and each floor has one. This floor has the glyph of movement, and that is the third glyph that I need. You recover the glyph so quickly. Your power is growing, my friend. I will open the last rune gate, but please be cautious. The Blighted Ember creates abominations. There's no telling what monstrosities lay on the other side. Bear to stay in these corrupted tunnels much longer. Find me in torchlight when you've finished. The Asterian Ruins introduce a new enemy type, the Tatari. The Tatari are lizard folk. They come in several forms. Some are spearmen, some are shield sword types, and some are archers, and most annoyingly of all, probably, are the spellcasters. Anyways, this is where the game gets arguably a little bit harder because the Tutari can move fairly fast, uh, much like the skeletons that I was complaining about in the catacombs area, and they generally just do annoying things, like cast bolts and dash attacks and all sorts of things that ultimately require me to pay slightly more attention than before, especially since they do enough damage to kill off my minions frequently. There's also some annoying air elemental wisp things that shoot bolts of energy at me, but I have enough resistances due to a spell that I'm okay in that department. I go through all of these and fight a giant tree guy that's on fire, I don't know how that works, he dies, and I complete the area. There's no major boss here, strangely enough. If this shaking continues, it will destroy the town and collapse the tunnels. Something massive must be stirring below, but I can't imagine what could do this. Go, find the source of these quakes and put an end to them. Something is trying to slow us down. It fears us. I take heart in that. You have begun a new quest. 